All right, today we're gonna to master the mayhem of the eye lag bolt, and I'm gonna show you a few different tips and tricks on how to fasten these really, really quickly. One of my favorite ways is with a power drill and an Allen wrench. I do it on the slow speed, and just take it nice and easy, keep pressure on it. Take it out as well. So nice and slow, and then as it gets loosened up, Now we have the eye lag up above us. This is where I like to use a ratcheting wrench and socket. Okay, to tighten it, have the ratcheting wrench in loosening mode. And there you go. Just keep it nice and steady. I got a little lip right here on the edge of the shed. And there you have it. And then to take it out, just do it in reverse. And just keep that tension, otherwise it comes out so about halfway. And just keep the tension and it comes out nice and easy. Now if you don't have those first two tools and you just have a wrench lying around, you just tighten it like that. That's pretty quick and easy and you'll get them in and out really, really quickly. Typically you want the diameter of the J-hook to match or exceed the diameter of the eye bolt. Do that and just take it nice and easy and then just take it out. That's the only J-hook I had. All right, and then these Y bits are made for J-hooks and I-hooks. You can find these in a lot of these bit kits out there at Home Depot, Lowe's, on Amazon. It's usually the bigger bit kits, you know, 100 piece, 120 piece, 200 piece. This is a ridiculous one, but you have a 16 inch lag bolt and a clip. Just drop that guy through, put that clip right on there, and you just go to town on it. And it won't fall because the clip holds it. Now you can do this with any size bolt as long as the head is bigger than the eye hole right and as long as the clip is securely on the post of the screw that's just another way that's really ridiculous i think it's worth knowing or just smash down a corner bracket here put that in your drill driver and go to town baby Nice and easy. Twisted it up, but then just hit that reverse button. And you got it, baby. Let me know which method is your favorite, and let me know in the comments if you have any methods that you use that I didn't use in this video.